PML fans, I'm your host Joe Moore here bringing you week five of the PML draft. I think it's week five or week six. Either way, we ain't doing so hot. Um, hoping we can get a win today. Um, very scary team, of course. And I think I'm gonna lead off the Vile Poom uh, Torkoal lead. Um, I do hope I can get. <clears throat> Undertaker in freely so I can get some good damage off with that. He didn't bring Jolteon, which is very interesting. So Wakanberry's kind of useless now. <laughs> but um should still be a very good game either way. We did make a trade. So instead of Duraladon, we now have Mudsdale. And I'm uh hoping I can get some coaching shenanigans off with it. <clears throat> so we shall see. So good luck, have fun, Jeremy. And let's see if we can be the first person to beat him this season like we were in singles. Alright, so he leads the Gudra and Aerodactyl. We get the Drought off, so we're faster than everything but the Aerodactyl, I think. And I'm going to go... Heat wave. <clears throat> and I don't think I want to max just yet. But I'm going to go moon blast into Kudra. Oh, he maxes right away. So it's probably the Aerodactyl. Don't know if he maxes the Gudra right away. If he does, it's probably a weakness policy set. And he does max the Gudra. It's probably Sap Zipper, so I was afraid of trying to sleep it. Oh, we are faster than the Aerodactyl. <clears throat> so special attack drop, is it weakness policy? It is not. And Aerodactyl goes for the Tailwind, so fair enough. Max Flare into the Vile Plume, most likely. And down goes Vileplume. So we don't get to get no sleep uh, sleep stuff off. Can we get a burn on Aerodactyl though? Oh, we get it on Gudra. Hey, a burn's a burn. We take it. <clears throat> I guess let's go ahead and go Marowak here. I don't feel like I want to max just yet. Um, I'm just going to go for the Heat Wave again. And I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the... Let's see. What do I go for? I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. Just to get damage on both. <clears throat> Aerodactyl goes Rock Slide. Max Wormwind into the Marowak. We live that. We got pretty good health on it. It is going to lower our attack by a stage, but that'll be fine. As long as we get some chip damage. Oh, thanks to that uh, attack drop, Aerodactyl lives a hit. But now it goes down to the heat wave, so good thing no flinches. Uh, Aerodactyl is no longer a problem. Charizard to be able to do some work now. Because I should be faster than everything since he didn't bring the Jolteon. <clears throat> and Marowak was a big bring because of the Jolteon. So we are Lightning Rod instead of uh, Rockhead. And we just have one more turn of Trick Room to, I mean, Dynamax to deal with. So. I'm going to go Heat Wave again. I don't know if he tries to fake out into me. 
And there's not really anything I want to take a fake out into. So Hitmonlee is going to be just really freaking fast. If he fakes me out, kind of a waste of a turn. But I was slower than Gudra. I'm just going to go for the knockoff on the Gudra. All right, so normal gym fake out into Torkoal. Okay, so I could have protected there, but I did not. Uh, Max Geyser goes off. What does it go into? The Marowak. And we live it. All right, beautiful. So we will get the knockoff. And it's Assault Vested, so that's a good thing we knocked off. And Torkoal gets hit there okay so now what do we do here because he's probably gonna muddy water i don't think we need i don't think we need sun anymore plus i wouldn't want anything to take a uh, muddy water hit I'm just going to go uh, Heat Wave and Rock Slide. Just get some Chip. Poison Jab into Torkoal. We live that. Muddy Water. Can it miss one? Nope. And this probably takes us both out here, which is fine. <clears throat> that is definitely fine. So Gudra's burned, uh, Hitmonlee's there, Tailwind finally petered out. So now it is time for Roche and Spirit to come in and just start causing problems. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to speed swap into Mudsdale. And I am going to go... For I'm gonna go for <clears throat> what do I go for? I'm gonna go for the max knuckle into Gudra. So this will make a spirit the fastest thing on the field. And an attack boost from the start would be nice. Hopefully it's enough to knock out the Gudra. Should be. Don't know how tanky the scooter is. But spirit, here we come. Hitmon Lee goes into Roche. We live that. Speed swap. I'm faster than Gudra now. Max Knuckle. Can it knock it out? It doesn't, but we are a salt vest, so we'll live this muddy water pretty well. Alright, so now we got an attack boost and a defense boost. And Guja's going to go down to burn on this next turn. And Undertaker, let's see what we can do here. I did not bring Protect, sadly. So, honestly, we probably go down to a Rock Slide. Uh, uh, on the off chance... On the off chance, I'm just going to go Heat Wave. Charity Berry's looking a lot better than it did. And I'm going to max Rockfall into... You know what? No, I'm going to max Knuckle. No reason not to. It's going to knock out Gruja this time. Okay, Poison Jab. So he doesn't have a Rock Coverage move, so we should live. And that was a critical hit. And the Poison. Oh, great. Hacks me to death. Alright, Gudra is going to go down. 
We get another attack raise. And I don't see him with anything that can knock out Mudsdale. How much does this heat wave do? Can I get a burn? <laughs> no. But he can get a crit poison. Off a of poison jab. Should have went will o -Wisp, but oh well. I thought he was going to have Rock Slide anyway. Alright, Metagross time. I am definitely going to go will o -Wisp into Hitmonlee this time on the off chance he doesn't attack. And I'm going to go Max Quake into Metagross. Because Hitmonlee's clearly not got anything to uh, hit Mudsdale with. Alright, Max Quake. And Metagross is gone. Alright. I think we're in a pretty good position here, too. Plus two attack, plus defense, uh, plus special defense. Assault vested, max defensive. I'm not sure if there's anything he could really do to us, but you never know. It, it is a 2v1 at this point, and he still does got the Mammoth Swine. Um... Not sure what does more. I'm going to go for the Iron Head on Mammoth Swine. We are plus two. Ice Shard comes off. And that does a good chunk. So hopefully we can knock it out here. Hitmonlee is just so fast right now. Hopefully no poison. And Mammoth Swine goes down, so Mudsdale is killing it right now. Literally. And depending on this next Pokemon, we could probably just go for an Earthquake. Oh, yeah. Time to Earthquake, baby. Does lower our attack by one, but that's not a problem. We are plus two. And I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Hopefully it's enough. We should be faster than the Arcanine. Hitmonlee's going to hit us for sure, though. Unless he has Extreme Speed Arcanine. So Poison Jab comes off. And the Poison once again. But we do get the Stamina Boost. Earthquake should knock out this Arcanine here. How did Hitmonlee avoid an Earthquake? Arcanine goes down. How the hell did Hitmonlee avoid the Earthquake? Is it Bright Powder? No, it's not. It's Normal Gym. How? Alright, I'm just going to go for the uh, Body Press. That's weird. That is really weird. How did it avoid an Earthquake? How did it avoid a Body Press? What's going on here? Those are 100% accuracy moves. What is going on here? So it looks like we get hacked out for some fucking reason. Another loss. Oh, the muddy water accuracy drop. Okay, so yeah. We get hacked out again. GG. Doubles is fucking us in the ass. And it's not a fun season so far. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.